And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Spyro Reignited. Currently playing the first game. Here's Jacques. He is our last um, regular boss. Sorry if I'm dropping spoilers for a game that is technically like 25 years old, but you know. Obviously, this port isn't 25 years old, but the actual game definitely is. And you're metallic, so you're not going down in the flame. That's actually going to be too high for us to jump up, so we want to be standing on that when it goes up. But also there's this one is kind of annoying a little bit because there's actually two paths to go down. Also you might have noticed the um the gesture over here doesn't really do anything obvious. Um the fact is there's a platform over there that it controls. This one here. Um, and if we can get there fast enough, we can use that platform to get over to the place that I just tried to get to and foolishly absolutely didn't even get close. Okay, let's see if we can do it this time. Nope. Yeah, hey, you saw that platform go up, right? Or go down. Oh, that's what it is. This goes down, and then it comes back up when the time elapses, and that's how you get over here. I was remembering correctly. Akinu. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Yeah, at least they don't like they don't straight up reuse. Oh boy. Like, they don't reuse the exact same audio clip like they did in the original. The thing is something like 15 dragons that's, that just say thank you for releasing me. And I died. It's like between 15 and 20. But they kept, like, reusing the same three recordings. Mm, okay. Just barely. Come on. There we go. I don't have to worry about you anymore. Ooh, that was close. Jacques-tacular that you didn't want. Uh, 
Uh, let me just do another pass and make sure that I got the gems out of that. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Derp. Well, fortunately, I just checkpointed. Here no. There we go. Now comes the unfortunate part of the fact that there is a split path and we have to go down both. But I want to go over here first. I think they kind of loop on each other too, so it's not a big deal, it's just still a bit annoying as far as level structure. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything. There is a cave up there, though. Whether we're coming or going from here, we're going to need to hit both of you guys. So I can make this platform so I can go over here. And get this key. Uh, really glad that they made it so that um, so that you get to keep everything except like enemy kills. Dang it. I need to align myself correctly here. There we There's our lockbox. And I think I've dealt with you already, so I'm not going to do it again. And there is a gem on each one of these steps. Make sure you catch them all. And Oliver. Hey, Oliver! Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? <laughs> That's a good reaction, Spyro.
So unlike other bosses, they'll end up dropping gems as you go. Um, Jacques here is only going to drop gems once you actually defeat him. Ah! You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. At you. And yes, you can only damage Jacques on the box. That's the joke. There we go. Skill point acquired. Not sure that I deserve that skill point because I definitely took damage. While someone peels out in the parking lot. What the hell was that? Anyway. Definitely a tricky... Uh, boss stage to go through, but uh, not too terrible. But that leaves us with one thing left to do. That's gonna be over right here. Also, the, the logic behind the gesture timers, like, I'm not really sure what you mean by that. Icy Flight. Our last flight stage. There definitely are not any more flight stages. There is not a flight stage in the last world. What are you talking about? This area is going to have five? Or is it only the four? I've wasted too much time now. Ah. You hit a gesture for it to become the timer that raises the platforms. Yeah. Uh, jesters are chaotic beings. I, I don't know. sure why I'm not able to turn around. Are they too high? the last one. Oh, 
I've wasted too much time now. Missed. That's the one that I missed before. So I only have chests left. I'd be around this area. the last one. No! Okay. I think the solution, honestly, is to get the um, lights in chests at the same time. Coming back around anyway. Or I could just miss entirely, that's fine. No, I got that one. Oh my goodness. It, that is a parking lot out there, not a highway. I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, as long as I don't miss, miss too many more times here, I should be able to do this. Definitely not going to be, you know, record-breaking pace, but... Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Ah! How did I miss that hard? Holy crap!
I am glad at the very least that I'm remembering to actually use maneuvers. Nope. Come on. Oh, that's... <sighs> like, I'm able to do this, it's just... Some of this stuff is a little too much precision. the chest. that one, but I think that's okay. And the big thing is, you can't really miss the train. If you miss a train, then you have to go chasing it down, and that's going to cost you a lot of time. Where's the last one? There you are. Let's end this. Fly like an eagle. I, did I actually get, like... Did I actually get that fast enough? Wow. Alright. Slash X48. Hello. How you doing? This is Pon Pon the Bon Bon. Well known hero from many stories somewhere, I'm sure. In a completely normal suit that is absolutely n not inspired by Tron at all. Well done, Spyro! I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is. Not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? Uh, bumper stickers is going a lot slower than I would like, but uh, it's moving along. Spin! It's also worth mentioning that um, I am moving the Code Creator stream uh, from Twitch to Picardo. Uh, let me put down a link. Monthly optional for Hint VK. Optional for Hint. I don't quite understand what you, what you mean by that. I'm sorry. Anyway, here we are at... Uh, here we are in Nasty's world. And thank you for the Picardo follow. 
there is once again a uh, balloonist here. Those balloonists will just take us to any of the other worlds that we've already been to. You might notice, um, well, there is this one portal here, but um, there are also these three faces that we've seen before. They made the yeah, they did make BK Sudoku. Um, Delvin, didn't I save you before? Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. And so that's basically the whole thing about this area is now we must hit the um, return home portal. So let's get started with Nork Cove. Presumably they like came here to um, try to take on Nasty Nork. I don't know. And then they got trapped again. But every dragon that we get from here on is a dragon that has shown up earlier in the game. But yeah, yeah, I did see they made BK Sudoku. I'm not a whole lot interested in Sudoku. I might give it a try, like, one time. But, uh, it's not really a thing that I'm going to have in my ammo going forward. But I know some people who are excited about the, uh, the idea of being able to do Sudoku while in BK mode. Dang it. So yes, we can... Uh, so here we can charge these metal, these metal kegs. Provided they don't end up in the water, they will explode. You charge one of these, it will explode immediately and hurt you. Some of these guys will require two hits. miss you. Oh, I miss you too. I will do my best to keep you apprised, but uh, do, do keep in mind that my memory sucks. So some... I, I might not remember to do so, and if I don't, I apologize. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Latif. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. One thing that I don't understand is. Like, is there a specific reason why Spyro can't be crystallized? Because I feel like that would fix a lot of Nasty Mode's problems. Ah, plot armor. Gotcha. Oh, 
more one-ups. We definitely need more lives. The 82 that we have right now is not enough. Not gonna be able to use this barrel on that. We're gonna need to, to use that barrel up there. Under under un, under 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 underestimate Spyro because he's a kid. Oh geez. It's not impossible that it's just like Spyro is too small to hit with the thing, maybe? I don't know. Or it only works on dragons who are old enough? I've... So many explanations. Trying to rationalize something that really doesn't have much of a rationale to it, and I'm dead. Unfortunately, that means that all of these dudes are alive. Now. Just glad we don't have to worry about. Ow. We don't have to worry about. Ow. So we constantly have to worry about now. Oh, well, that didn't work. All right. I feel like that might have worked in the original. Could be mistaken. Thomas. Especially by such a little dragon. For the second uh, time. What I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> That's another delivery that was a lot better in the original game. Because the original game knew what it was referencing. For further reading, I direct you to go check out Crap of the Raptor. I appear to have vaporized. Oh, okay. It was just a trick of the camera. Yep, figured that was gonna happen. I understood that reference. I was wondering where that gem went.
Oh jeez. Okay. I was worried there for a second. I need another one of these. Boom. Okay, gonna need another one of these. Boom. Here's we're not done. Fortunately, it seems that the gems that we need are going to be down here somewhere, so. We don't have to go backtracking through large portions of the level. been here is how I miss that. Ow! And there we go. And that is everything in the stage, but the fact remains we must use the oh geez we must use the return home portal or else the next stage does not open up fortunately it is right here Now on to Twilight Harbor. Quick draw is not quick enough. Not for Pon Pon the Bon Bon. Yours, however, kind of on point. over here though. Now, just that gem and an extra life. making sure that I don't miss anything. And these, uh, these more cautious bandoliers don't, uh, I, I don't think one of them have, has gotten a single shot off so far. Cosmos. Oh, the twist on the uh, on the classic line there for rescuing me.
possibly calling attention to the fact that uh, this is the second time we've done so. Not this time, buddy. Cletus. Be on the lookout for North Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. There's one dragon left to find. So the Kasha, the Kasha's bandoliers have now successfully opened fire. Also interesting fact about Cletus is that um, he actually has a completely different voice um, between the first time you rescue him and the second time. Not really sure why that is, but uh, probably just a little minor continuity error. Someone wasn't paying full attention to uh, to what voice was being used where. Let's see. Nice. There it is. I knew I had seen the supercharger ram somewhere. We're going to need this supercharger ram to break this. I think that's the only reason. Well, no. Well, we also need to get up there, I think. We do that. There it is. We'll lift up that bridge. Get stuck on the geometry. And there we go. to go up onto this ledge. There's an extra light there. I think if we go to the other side, there also is going to be something to access from this ledge. Not on this side. No, not on that side. I thought for sure there was something. The spire seems to be or oh, Sparks seems to think there's something. Oh, okay. Right over here. Okay. I could just use this over here. Bring that back down. On we go to the next part of the stage. Nice little double catch there. little double flame there. Now we return home portal, but do we have everything? Which I 
find out. Yes, we do. 400 to 400. 100% level complete. Let's leave this place. For there is only one stage left between us and total victory. And that is... We're finally fighting him. Nasty Nork. And let me say, this is the second worst stage of the game. <laughs> this boss fight sucks. Come back down, uh, Pawn Pawn. The boss fight actually does not start until we actually press something. So we can get a good look at Nasty over there beating his chest. You know, show off. And also take a look at uh, the room here get an idea of where we need to go. And where we need to go is... Son of a bitch! Camera, please. Cooperate. Dang it! Tried to flame him there, but uh... There we go. Okay, let's go back over here. Make sure we get all of our treasure. So now that gave us a key. And while there is a lock right here at Nasty's feet, unfortunately that's not the one we need to open. There is, as well, another lock right here. And what's here is another son of a bitch! And I'm gonna go the wrong way and die. Cool. And since I died, we get to start all over again. Which if you're playing the original, I believe that means you also have to collect all of the gems again. I could be mistaken. But I seem to recall that being the case. There we go. Son of a bitch! Got him. That means I don't have to worry about this area here and being able to just fall off. So now there are no more locked doors. Let's go ahead and open this and Nasty will recede a little bit and stop firing at us. Which will give us some time to actually get the chests and gems and things over in this area. I hope I got everything. Cause if I don't, I'm 
I'm not sure if Sparks is trying to tell me that there is something over here or if he's trying to tell me that there isn't. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. Here we go. So you have to cut every corner you possibly can. Because the idea is, you can only damage him while he's standing on that platform. And if he stands on that platform too long, you have to chase him all over again. Okay, that's the way forward. Don't want to go there yet. Um, wait. Okay, this is the looping path. I think that uh, Nasty's delay is actually a little longer on the reignited version because they realize that chase kind of sucks. This one. There we go. Okay, we have 400 gems. That's the that's the magic number. The remaining gems are all on nasty. These platforms are going to start receding as soon as we jump on them. sucks that it especially sucks that uh, we gotta do everything again fortunately there are no more gems unfortunately this and that's why this is the second worst stage in the game Let's not even worry about the rest of that. Ah, that might have cost me too much time. Yep. Even if we do hit him now. Doesn't matter can only be hurt while he's on his little platform. No. Oh, that was close.
Ah! <sighs> Here we go again. I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but it's not. They really should have put a they really should have put a dragon on this stage. Ah freaking hell. That means I have to worry about this. How about we make the boss run away from Spyro all the time? That's a great idea. Uh, I will get to whatever that was in a second. Come on. I don't have my activity feed up. Monster Jake ninety seven, thanks for the follow. Let me pop this out so I can actually see it. Okay. And there's no longer anything really that Nasty can do. You flame him, get a hundred gems, game over. Nasty Gnork. Nasty Nork is toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Uh, well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to find. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. It's not so much Pon Pon looks different, is that Spyro's taking credit for that. Here are the credits. They're very long, and I'm going to skip them. We'll we'll come back to those at the end of uh, at the end of our playthrough here. Anyway, we have one dragon left, and it shows up after you defeat Nasty Nork. Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Well, um, here's the news for you. You're the last one. 
So this is what they meant by 12,000 treasure, or was it 14,000? We're currently at 12,000. Guess how much treasure there is in Nasty's loot. Oosh. So, you know how I said that uh, there isn't a flight level in Nasty's world? Actually, there is, but this one works differently. So right now, this is as high as I can go. I'm pulling up on the stick, can't go any higher than this. So let's see what happens when I climb these stairs. Oh. I thought it was as soon as I climbed these stairs. But apparently I, I do actually need to unlock this door. Also to be fair, like there it's not so much that there is that much more treasure in this stage, it's that the treasure is a lot more valuable. So it's effectively an effect of, like, inflation. Anyway, the, the gimmick behind this stage is sons of bitches. First you get this son of a bitch. Hey, you got a key. They all have keys. Now. So now we just need to go find the door again. The one that we had found previously but didn't have the key for. Also, you know, finding all of the treasure a while ago. There it is. So now that we have unlocked this door, we can go up these stairs and reach a new threshold. This is as far, this is as high as we can go now, which is high enough to reach another son of a bitch. Sparks, please. Cooperate. And now let's go find the locked door. And usually the doors are pretty close to each other. So that unlocked a flying son of a bitch. Didn't need to exert any effort at all.
Okay, so that is a strong box. And first I'm gonna go find the next locked door. I think it's over here. And it's here that we shall encounter the biggest son of a bitch in the game. And now we need to basically engage this guy in a dogfight. Well, considering that we're currently in the form of a dog, rabbit, whatever this is. Should be a pretty easy thing. In fact, we managed to get it in just over a lap. Um, I know, at least in the original, sometimes it can take four laps, five laps, even more sometimes. And if you run into anything, well, sorry. So, this is the last log door, so surely there's a big treasure on top of here, right? Tangent. I feel cheated. Well, there is a bunch of treasure here and now we are at the highest flight threshold that we can muster at this stage. Keep that for a second. That's definitely a room that needs to be experienced last. was at least one more rocket somewhere. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Only well, one way to find out for sure is let's land over here. I think Spyro is pointing toward the return home portal possibly. Yep. So, finally we get to basically what amounts to Nasty's treasury. And what do we find? This little shrine here with some fireworks. Ah yes. Look at that treasure. Mmm. That's all of it. That is Spyro the Dragon reignited. 117%, I think it is. Spyro the Dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganor, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob, and I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say, for every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. 
Uh-oh. Here we go again. Oh no, the game is lopping itself. And it drops us all the way back here. Time for a new game plus. Oh man. That's 120% is what it was. I was thinking of a different game for 117. But that is everything. All 14,000 treasure, all 80 dragons, all 12 dragon eggs. We could go for these if we really wanted to. I don't really want to. <laughs> you get some neat things, like some extra, like, bonus art and things like that if you do manage to clear all the skill points. I'll leave it as an exercise to the viewer to go look those up. Anyway, I was hoping to start on Spyro 2 uh, during the stream, but it is already 1230. And that's pretty much my threshold of if I have to start anything major, I'm going to start it next time. So in the next stream, we shall reconvene with uh, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, Reignited, and see what lies therein. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank you to Tyrion, uh, Jewel, and Slash X48 for hanging out. Thank you to Monster Jake97 for the follow. The next scheduled stream on this channel is going to be on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is the extra long run stream. We're going to continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We're getting very close to the end. Uh, not a whole lot left to do there. A um, couple of more heroes to get, not a whole lot of story left to tell, so check that out if you are interested. The next stream after that is going to be on Sunday at 8pm or later Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle. We're going to do some Archipelago, uh, Archipelago shenanigans. And that takes us round the week, round the wheel to our next uh, long run stream where we are going to start on Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage Reignited. So stick around for that. And of course, like I've mentioned before, the co creator stream is moving from um, Twitch to Picardo. More than likely, the first one of those on Picardo is going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m., maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, Atlantic Standard Time, and there's also going to be streams as much as I can every day from the 1st to the 25th because of the advent of code. I do intend on participating in that. So, that's everything. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.